neodymium wedding ring magnets have been a big hit ever since I first developed them seven or eight years ago. I didn't realize what all I was doing at the time. I, I was trying to solve a problem for my mother. My mother had arthritis in her fingers and she had a hard time playing the piano. And I said, I'll get you some magnets made that'll fit your ring, fit your fingers just like a ring and you can wear it and it will work well. Well, it did. It worked great with hers on her fingers and her and working on the piano and it was able, when she would sleep with them, she was able to work the next day using her fingers. I've had other people who have come to me with arthritis and they have used them for the arthritis and that was my original intent for them. And then I started getting inquiries from magicians and I had all kinds of magicians with all kinds of magic tricks that loved the things that they could come up with with the super magnet wedding rings. And so I've been selling them for a long time now as to, to a wide variety of communities. There's another community that really fascinated me, and that was the people that are disabled or in rehab trying to learn that have difficulty using their hands. And one of the things that they do is they're able to use this to like pick up their fork and hold it so they can eat. Sometimes they might even use two of these and put one on their index finger and one here, and they get a much better handle on it, and it helps to hold it better for them. So, using it in this capacity was very important. Using it with arthritis has been very important and with magic tricks. And sometimes it's just fun to surprise people when you pick up your key rings and your hands are completely opened up. It just helps you hold things together. Now there's different types of wedding rings. Let's take a look at the choices that we have. One is like this one, magnetized across the diameter. You'll see the difference because as the rings stick together, they stick in one point. They will stick at exactly 180 degrees on the other side. This is called magnetized across the diameter. You also have the choice of getting magnetized through the thickness, and that looks like this, where they will stick together like this. You notice this one is a gold. This is a chrome-plated one. The other one here is a silver-plated, so that you can see all of these together. The silver-plated one is one that you have to be careful with because silver, it is plated with the real element silver and silver will tarnish over time and you cannot use a dip to dip these in and clean it off. It would attack the, uh, the silver and turn the whole thing black if you tried to use that. What you would have to do is you can take something like a really fine car auto body polish or something like that and for one or two times, you can just put a little bit on and a cloth and rub it, and you can return it to its polished shape. But once the plating is gone, you're down to nickel plating. And it is nickel plated underneath the silver, so there's not a lot of color difference when you go through that. Gold is plated with 24 karat gold. That's why the golds are more expensive in most cases than the silver would be, because they're plated in the $1,600 an ounce, $1,700 an ounce gold. So. These are even thicker. You can look at the pictures and see it better on the web, but the thicker N50 ring magnets are much more powerful. They're over twice as powerful as one that has the standard thickness. And we've been very careful to try and make it so that it still looks like it's a real ring that you would wear without looking like it's too thick or like a piece of pipe that's been cut. We also have gotten in some black epoxy coated ones and a lot of people like these because people that are wearing them sometimes don't want to broadcast that they're married. They may not be married, and certainly if you're a single guy and you're trying to wear a ring, you don't want to let the world know that you're married if you're not. And so they want something that, like the chrome or the black, that they hope is, is not going to be quite as obvious that they're married. But that gives us quite a range of choices. So remember, it is either magnetized across the diameter, our regular thickness or our really thick N50 high grade ring magnet. I hope this answers all of your question on the wedding ring magnets.